For you see, everyone you've met tonight. They are all vampires. I haven't posted a video in two months. That's not funny. Friends found out my YouTube channel and now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, that's basically all my stuff. But today is a chill video. Yeah, I'm on my bed. Fuzzy socks and um, a huge dinosaur. Anyway, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I forgot where did we stop. Oh yeah, so we were in the bed alone, in the bedroom alone. Yeah, I remember. Let's go. Finally, I'm alone. I sang good to the bed in what was to be my room. Alone with my Moset. No one cares about Moset, oh my god. If only it was a dream. I'm willing to believe I traveled back in time. But I cannot believe I had dinner with a bunch of time-traveling artists and scientists and musicians and I tried to recount every everyone I've met. Okay, let's do that. Bad boys. Vincent van Gogh and Theodorus van Gogh, the brothers. One is nice, the other is not so sure of. They seem close though. Then we have Desai Osimo and Arthur Conan Doyle. The class flirt and the class clown. They both seem want my attention. Boys just want my attention all the time. What can I do about it? Was Sir Isaac Newton really that shy? <gasps> Dude, I forgot. Alex! I mean... <laughs> Alex, who's Alex? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean Newton. I really liked him. I think I'm gonna go with Isaac Newton. And that's my final answer, maybe. Okay, okay, let's not think about that right now. Was Sir Isaac Newton really that shy? He wouldn't look at me in the eye. I can't even picture Donna Dark. I really wondered, was she... I mean, he's really... Like they changed Jenna Dark gender. <gasps> oh my god, dying! <laughs> your words, they match the look on your face. That's rare. How did I lose myself around Leonardo da Vinci? And what exactly was he thinking? I don't know, but probably something really hot. <laughs> As if the banquet wasn't bad enough. Wolf, Wolf, Wolfgang, Wolfgang, Madelos, what's that? His music was so lively and fun, but he seemed to call it an empty inside, like me. And of course I can't forget... <gasps> oh yeah, oh yeah, our, our main dude. I'll answer your questions later. You need to escape before the others find you. Napoleon Bonaparte. He was trying to rescue me, I'm sure of it. From what? I couldn't picture all of them lying about who they are. And my instincts told me they were telling me the truth. I don't trust your instincts, why not? Everyone you've met tonight, they are all vampires. Why not? Besides, what would have Lecomte and Sebastian gain from lying to me? I'm not rich or influential, there's no benefit to it. Then it's real? As real as the place is. I slipped off my jacket, kicked off my shoes and took off my earrings. Enough thinking, it's time for bed. I slipped into the covers and shut my eyes. Despite my internal clock still reading afternoon, I somehow... Oh my god. I was somehow able to sleep. Duvet, 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 couch. I woke up to the soft crumble of a thick duvet, followed by the creak of the bed frame. Oh? What is that? I froze. Someone else was in the room with me. They were in the bed. Who's there? It isn't safe here after all. I rolled out of my bed and sprang to my feet. A pair of arms grabbed me from behind and pulled me back onto the bed with them. Oh my god, that's spicy. They were on top of me, holding me down. Stop! I do not want to read this. <laughs> Strong hands pinned mine to the sheets. My legs were trapped under theirs. Don't move. Their breath was on my ear. My body tensed. Sharp teeth sank into my neck. It stung only a moment. No, not even that long. What I felt could have been described as pain. I feel so hot. I couldn't move my limbs. They weren't under my power anymore. Heat flickered across my vision like a desert mirage. Mirage. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? Each warm breath billowed over my neck, filled me with ins Warning. Someone bit me? Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh. 
No liquor could have intoxicated me as quickly. Sheer pleasure spreading from my neck, traveling throughout my body. I groaned and my voice landed with ecstasy. Did this voice even belong to me? Except I knew it did. Oh, I felt it to my very core. A slow, throbbing pulse rubbing me of reason. I have to snap out of it. My lashes fluttered, my eyes were rolling back. Suddenly, I caught sight of something. Someone had spilled rose petals on the bed's white sheets, but they weren't rose petals, and they had came from me. That's blood. My blood. Before I let go of consciousness, I slipped into the void. I heard the man's voice. I want it all. Your body, your heart, and your destiny. No! I scrambled out of bed. I scrambled out of bed, clutching my neck. I scrambled out of bed, clutching my neck. There was no puncture. There was no puncture wound there. No blood. Good, that's good, okay. I spun, looking around the room. Empty. No trace of the man who had bitten me. There's no one here. I've never had such a real dream. No, that's not true. When I first arrived at the mansion, that dream felt just as surreal. My fingers were cold, I was shaking, my throat was painfully dry. I should get some water. Oh, dude, I feel you. Retracing my steps from dinner, I found the kitchen. It was lit with electric lamps. Sebastian was up, washing the dishes. Such a mom! Sebastian is such a mom, dude. After the nightmare, I sighed in relief to see him. Is something the matter? Yes, could I have some water, please? Sebastian poured me a glass of vodka, and he listened patiently as I told him about the walking dream or vision I had when I arrived. And I had never dreamed just now. Tell me about the dream. I told him about the man in my room, how he'd held me down and bit my neck, just like a vampire would. Talking about it helped. In fact, I was laughing as I finished the story. Dreams can be so realistic, even when they're about the most unbelievable things. Sebastian was quiet now, and I wondered he was... I cannot see. Sebastian was quiet now, and I wondered if he was tired of me prattling on. Thanks for listening to my silly dream. I hope you don't think I'm crazy for dreaming about vampires. I don't think you're crazy, nor do I believe it was just a silly dream. Don't you think it was silly? No. Indeed it... Oh, I forgot. You know what I forgot? I'm a dummy. I forgot to turn the audio down. Editing is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> okay, if the first half of the video is kind of rough, I'm sorry. I'm such a professional. No, indeed, it's a good sign. I felt a pang of unease. My bad dream is a good sign. I believe you saw that dream because you're here in this mansion. You're not making sense. The dream serves as a warning that you are to give them neither your body nor your heart. Then, the residents of this mansion. For you see, everyone you've met tonight. They are all vampires. We did it! We did it! Yes, we did it! Let's pick a character now! Okay, what I'm thinking, if not for like not availability, I'd go with Shakespeare 100%. Napoleon is a pretty good guy. He's kind of generic. I think everyone read Napoleon. And we have Arthur. Oh, that's hard. Mozart is a sweetheart. Isaac Newton. You know what? He intrigued me. Because if he was just a shy boy, I'd give him like a three. And Isaac, Isaac, there is some, some kind of a thingy about him, you know? Leonardo, 10. I give him 2,000 out of 10. He is hottie. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Arthur, like, I really like flirty guys. Not like in reality, but like, only well, in reality as well. Who am I kidding? And he's the flirty guy. The final answer is... Isaac Newton! Bet you didn't expect that. Yeah, so that's my final answer. We're gonna read for Isaac Newton. It's nine, I gotta go to bed. I have school tomorrow. So we're gonna finish it up right here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah.
Peace. My name is Mosette. No one cares about Mosette. Burn her.